Hey everyone, Dupli here. I'm going to play Sid Meier's Pirates. This is a pretty great game. Um, I used to play this all the time. Stayed up really late playing it. Um, I'm trying to remember if I ever beat it. I think I did. Um, anyway, I'll shut up and let you watch this. Alright, so, um, I have to pick a colony, or a colony, a nation to, uh, basically get my starting boost with, so when you're playing the game, this faction will usually be nicer to you at the start. Um, I usually pick the English, or not the English, the French or the Dutch, because they have better ports at the beginning. And because I haven't played on this computer yet before, I can't change the difficulty. Oh, I guess I can. Um, I know if you do the t the higher ones, the sword fighting is just about impossible. Um, I'll play this air because I know it the best. And, uh, French guy is kind of frightening. Uh, I think I'll do the Dutch this time. They also have cool looking ships. No, I don't think you get a cool looking ship at the start. You just basically get this little sloop. Um, because your guy's coming from some unknown place, basically. Now that looks like the French captain. God, he looks like such a pussy bitch at the beginning. Now, if I remember correctly, I found my sister one time, and that was it. Um, so I'm just going to go right into this place. <clears throat> we'll talk to the governor. Okay, so I want to be fighting the Spanish. So, the 
governor and the people in the tavern will often tell you of good things that you should be going after. Uh, I usually try to kill the pirates so that I move up the, the chain quicker. And they said he's in Sydney's town, so I'll head over that way and see if we can't kill that uh, Blackbeard pretty soon. Uh, this town needs some fresh fire. Thanks, that was absolutely useless. Uh, sometimes, I usually don't get a very big crew because when you split the plunder, um, you can't, you don't get as much uh, if you have a lot of crew. Um, this guy over here usually sells you things that are really cool, like uh, guns or new swords or things like that. Uh, we'll see what I'm carrying. I uh, usually only buy food and guns. Um, I don't do much trading. The shipwright has no upgrades for my ship. So, and look, there's the Spanish bark. So we'll see if I can't get his stuffs. Oh. <laughs> oh, too early. Ow. So the other thing about having a, um, a sloop, you don't carry as much, but you're really damn agile. And then, if you have a bigger ship, you definitely have more firepower, you can carry a lot more, but that one basically didn't even put up a fight. Um, I'll take these guys. Take their food, take their guns. I'll take the spices. And I'll take... I'll take it all, just give me it all. Um, okay, so that ship gets put into my... My fleet, basically. Uh, actually, I'm going to make, make this my... My flagship. Um, sorry, did I not do that? Your flagship. Okay. There we go. Um, I usually like to have a medium-sized ship. Just because it gets good balance. So let me just check my map here. San Juan. Okay, so yeah, we're going to go all the way around and try to find Blackbeard. Um, when you fight in uh, ship to ship, shooting McGun happy fun time... <laughs> Uh, it's only one your flagship. Your other ships um, aren't there usually. So I'm just gonna attack this guy because he's Spanish. Sorry, Manuel. Uh, I just he's trying to board me. He doesn't even want to fight. He does have more men. So we'll see. Sword fighting is pretty straightforward. You just have your different attacks, and you can uh, you have the different blocks. So if they're attacking before you, you can try to parry or whatever. I don't want that ship, and. Um, Got as much stuff as I can carry right now. So, even though I'm not Spanish, <laughs> I'm just going to go to this town to sell the, all the extra stuff I have. Oh, crap. Okay, see, they don't, they're upset. Uh, Spanish get upset, and they're shooting at me. So, we'll just take our stuff. And I didn't have enough of pirates, I didn't have enough pirates to attack their town, basically. If I had had um, more crew, I would have tried to attack because you can plunder the town, and then you can install a governor from your nation. There's Blackbeard, right there. Oh, he's gonna get away, though. Oh, I wanted both of those. Okay, this is my favorite uh, ship in the whole game. The one Blackbeard has, so I usually try to get it.
Oh my god, he's ripping me into asshole. I'm down. Now, luckily, I have a secondary ship, so I don't have to deal with a big giant snafu of you're stranded on an island and <laughs> you're dying, <laughs> you have to wait for a passing ship to come get you. Um, also, what's good about the pirates is their ships are already stacked with upgrades, if you look. He's got a bunch of stuff. So luckily, I hit him there without him killing me. Now, I'm going to have to kill him quickly. Otherwise, I'm going to die. I'll be in a shitload of trouble. Ah, dirty trick there. Ah, oh, you bastard, you. Okay, hit him with the bucket. Oh, okay. You come back here, you bastard. See, he's got 118 crew and I only have 14. Okay, luckily I got him. Skilled Sailmaker. Okay, great. And he was carrying a shitload of gold, as you can see. Um, bam. That's a lot better than I thought we were going to do in the very first episode. Ah, crap. Well, that was good. A ship bound for Santa Domingo, which I think was... Oh, no, that's... It's not San Juan. That's all right. Uh, San Juan didn't have a lot of soldiers anyway. So let's see, I'm gonna make this my repair it. I'm gonna sell my little one. Oh wait a minute. I have to sell the crap I got on it first. That's all you want? Oh he has no money. I don't need that many guns. Uh huh. No? Alright. Busy phone. Uh, let's see. So this is where you can tell the pirates, you know, where to attack. So I'm going to tell them San Domingo has few soldiers. So even if they are destroyed, the Spanish will have to recover. Personally, I hate the friggin' maps. I think they're annoying to figure out. Uh, but I buy them anyway. Spanish, uh, okay, terrible, and he's right about there, so I can go right around the corner and that'll be it. Alright, so let me, there, look at that beauty, oh that would have been unpleasant. Um, when a bigger ship like that has an escort ship like that, both of them will attack you at once. Okay, so this is the guy. Terrible. So, let me just crush this fella. So every once in a while I get a couple that go back and forth, but uh, at this level I'm playing, everything's about normal level I would say. If you go up too much more, it's a pain in the ass. Alright, so that was a nice little prize. Um, I'm going to head back to... 
uh, St. Martin. So this will probably take a minute. Grain transport. Not something you want to attack. Unless you want to have a bunch of goods. Sometimes it's a little slow. As you can see, I have $10,000, or gold coins. Uh, that bell is just a month has gone by, so uh, you buy food in like months at a time, or you buy food in a month-by-month -month basis. So I have enough food for 23 months, so that's not anything I need to worry about. It's just I'm going against the wind right now, I think. So it's going kind of slow. So there's a Dutch smuggler. And any time now I can get a nice wind. Let's see. Yeah, I'm almost there. And when I go talk to the governor this time, he should be like, Oh, good job you've done. Let me give you multiple awards, and I'll be like, thank you. That's a juicy looking ship right there. So these little stones that are marked are usually used for the treasure maps. But say I only have half, so I can't tell where I, I need to look yet. Because it'll say search near, and it'll say like San Domingo, or a place like uh, a town, or a cast, or a fort, or something. And then you usually have to get out and walk around. And actually, I think, yep, I need to cut in here. Let me try not to hit this. Oh, come on, ship, move it. Prosperous Dutch Trading Post. So I should be able to offload all the crap I picked up here. So now there's a nice wind, but I'm already there. Um, trade. Let's see, this guy's actually got some money. And I think I can get rid of all the crap I don't want. Yep. And then, consult with the shipwright over here. Sell this baby. Back we go. Visit the tavern. Talk to the creepy guy. Okay, there's the rest of the map. West... Oh my god, Santa Domingo. I just guessed that before, too. Uh, yep, I need you because I lost all my guys when I lost that ship. The eighth most notorious pirate. Well, I want to be first, sister. Also, you can woo governor's daughters in this. Maybe that will happen right now. He's a toy spy blind. Excellent, the will be pleased. Bam, there we go. Captain. An estate of 150 acres, thank you. Here's the governor's daughter. My Mr. Dukeley, you have quite a handsome young ruffian. When you've achieved the rank colonel, you could escort me to the Grand Ball. Uh, Alright, uh, that'll be the end of this one, guys, and I will see you in the next one.